If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Saturday Ultimate Legends. Hopefully, they're better than some of the past ones have been. By the way, guys, we are getting our free 95 Patrick Tillman. If you guys have, or Pat Tillman, sorry. If you guys have not logged in, make sure to do so. If you do log in any time between now, or I think it started even yesterday, all the way up onto Memorial Day Monday, you'll be getting a free Pat Tillman. Now, this card does look pretty good for a free player. 92 speed, 88 excel, 95 tackle, 96 play rec, 89 zone coverage, 93 hit power. Pretty solid card, especially because it's free. So make sure you guys just hop on between now and Memorial Day. Get your free player. You really don't want to be missing out on a free player. Even if you put him as a backup, he could still be good for chem, as you guys can see. Because that's one of the biggest things, too. See, if you want to get your team fully chemmed up, people always ask, how do I get the plus overalls? You got to have good backups that can have good chemistry. So let's see, right there, chemistry. So he can get a plus three, let's say lockdown, which is what most people are going to have. So lockdown. So that gives you automatically like a top tier backup that can give you the chem boost that you can put in. Because usually if you have to buy them, you spend coins. And buying, trust me, buying backups quickly rack up, especially if you're more of a budget team. So just make sure you go on over, get that free player. Now we do have our Mutt Rewards Legend tier, guys. So we're going to see, maybe we could pull some of those new Ultimate Legends out of here. So first, of course, let's go check out who the new ones are and see what we can, uh, what the price are going for. And then once we see what everything is, I want to go over and open up. I got, I should have two new fan appreciation packs. So I saved those just for today. See if we could pull one of the new ones, maybe even our first LTD pull of the year. That would be kind of nice if we can actually get that on the last day of the year. Or one of the, oh, not the last day of the year, sorry. Towards the end of the Madden year. But, I mean, you know, our luck has never been too great with this stuff. So, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But, we got Rob Gronkowski today. So, we got to check out for him. We got Rob Gronkowski, 99. We got Ronnie Lott. And we do have Dwight Freeney as the LTD. Now, Rob Gronkowski, I do not believe I see any of them up just yet. So, obviously, we'll get into packs in just a second and then come back on the block. So, let's see. Let's see. Simeon Rice is super cheap. Wow, these cards are cheap. This is crazy. The market is actually it's it's dead this is crazy 99 overalls that break the white freenies up okay so we do know their impacts so let's go ahead and over guys robin krauss would be super nice would probably end up keeping him actually that'd be a very fun thing to get so let's open up these mutt rewards legend tier which like i said should be two fan appreciation two packs okay so we got two of them so let's hop into the first one golden tickets to goal here but i'll take it all to legend so first we get a centennial player 94 willy lane year probably goes to like 10k at this point but again two nfl 100 players Cannot complain about a 94 overall pull. 82 Chris Carson. Slowest basically running back there, boys. Series Redux. Give me Lamar Jackson here. 97 Luke Keekley. Okay. Now, the only thing that sucks here is that we know it doesn't go for a lot. But it is a what what's once was a LTD pull, of course. Easter card right here. We get 91 Kyle Van Noy. And we get a draft 91 Quan Williams. So honestly, not a bad pack. The only issue is that I really don't think you make much here because of how much they've killed the market. But otherwise, it's been pretty solid. Other, Like, honestly, it's pretty solid. Pretty solid pack, gotta admit. They're the best packs, but they did kill the market. So first card here, we get a low legend, 82 Ken Houston. That's not great. We get a low ultimate legend, Mean Joe Green, not bad. We get a, I always forget which one this is, 87 Darren Lee. Okay, this has sucked so far. All right, full ultimate legend, maybe? 96 Jerry Rice. And for the final card out of these, we get 91 Bobby Wagner. Okay, so... Ah, <sighs> guys, we're never going to get that elusive LTD or golden ticket pull. You know what I find hilarious? Which, CC has a great point. I don't know if you guys follow him, the actual CC. Great point, actually, by the way. I said yesterday, if Ultimate Legend packs are still 180k, I swear. Now, I was thinking about it. He's 100% right. So how can you drop fan appreciation packs that cost less than half of an Ultimate Legend pack? They guarantee you, like, 10 times more. No, no, okay, here, here's the point. You open up an Ultimate Legend pack for 180k. You're guaranteed probably a 90 plus player, right? Let's see. You're guaranteed almost a 90 plus player. Maybe. So you can pull anywhere from an 86, more than likely 86 to 95. In this pack, you always get like a 95. So the best thing you could probably, one of the, some of the best things you pull in here, you're guaranteed here for half the price. And there's five spots to hit from. This one, it's really only two spots. So there's two elite players plus and two 86 pluses. So only guaranteed 86 pluses. Here on the fan appreciation you're guaranteed multiple spots where they're all pretty much going to be at least an 85 plus but every single spot and there's multiple and there's some spots that are guaranteed 90 plus guys these are the best packs in madden by far and they're half the price i think that ultimate packs i understand these are fan appreciation they're limited 
but they should at least bring these down uh, at least to 80k at bare minimum they're fun packs i you know don't get me wrong but that's not that's not the way to do it not the way to go about it, in my opinion they got to really bring those pack prices down if people want to actually enjoy it come on like it's it's may it's may 23rd like just let us have fun with packs at this point whatever the, the market's ruined it just let it happen let's go check out the new ultimate legends though so we can go have some fun here and see the stats so we have the white freeney up on the block ltd for the day 91 speed 95 excel 86 strength 90 tackle 95 play rec 89 block shed 83 power move and 90 80 99 finesse move this car kind of sucks not gonna lie this car kind of sucks thought it'd be a lot better for a 99 ltd compared to my aaron donald once again he's more athletic i'll give him that but he's way weaker less tackle less play rec way less block shed way less power move and similar enough finesse move aaron donald still from january like, come on I understand if it's like February and there's a car that Aaron Donald's better than maybe March. Guys, we're in, we're in literally May 20, it's May 23rd. Like we're at the end of the game. No reason a January car that I got while I was on vacation should still be better than most red that drop in this game. Especially when that guy's a 97 base and Dwight Freeney is a 99 base. But it is what it is. I do not think this car is great at all. I would not waste my money. His block, for me at this point, like a 99 guy, it's got to have max out blocks or max out finesse. Great, great athleticism, but just can't can't go that route. Ronnie Lotso, what I'm actually kind of excited for. 94 speed, 96 excel, 95 tackle, 95 play rec, 96 pursuit, 90 man, 97 zone coverage, and 99 hip power. Now, this car looks a lot better if we can chem up properly. Now, I wish we would have gotten to 99 speed, which he does not. But powered up and chemmed up, he will get to about a 98 speed, which I'm adding, and sprinter. So really not horrible speed, good enough. He'll have close to max that um, excel. Now he's pretty much just a better version of Sean Taylor, slightly not by the most, but he's he's uh, he's better. He's definitely better because that man in zone definitely gives him a big boost. Now, again, if they drop into Sean Taylor, Sean Taylor should take the cake by a large margin. Going to be way more athletic, going to be taller, going to have the same hip power, going to have the same cut, going to be pretty much the same. But he's going to be way more athletic than this Ronnie Lott is. But guys, Ronnie Lott is if you don't want to wait for Sean Taylor end game, Ronnie Lott pretty much fills the, fills the gap. Not going to be too crazy expensive once the price comes down. And in my opinion, guys, Ronnie Lott's always been kind of a a goon in Madden 86 catching gonna be really great so far I like Ronnie Lott and I don't, don't like Freeney but let's check out this Rob Gronkowski I'm actually kind of excited for this card I always love to have a good Gronkowski in the game so 90 speed that's a solid speed you power him up let's see what his price looking like 2 mil right now it's a lot but you power him up you're going to see that he can get to about a 94 speed which is good enough in my opinion for a ground car why is letting me compare and then the strength 91 that's amazing guys you don't understand like the amount of break broken tackles you can get and the, the run blocking potential with them is going to be great 96 catching great catching gonna get to 99 came down powered up catch traffic great spec catch so in the catching base he's very similar to tony gonzalez but he's better route running worse than gonzalez it's pretty much what you get from gonzalez if you want to go if you have gonzalez or gronk remember he has an ultimate legend as well you can even get up higher on at the end of the day the only difference you're going to get the same athleticism just about but what you give, what you're gonna give is slight, a little bit of route running for more blocking strength. Pretty much blocking and strength is what you're gonna give up from Gonzalez. Would you rather have better route running or better blocking? And in my opinion, I think having a tight end that can do everything on the field, like you don't have to sub out ground. You're running the ball, he's good to go. You're passing the ball, he's good to go. You need him to make a play in space, he's good to go. Tony Gonzalez, you're running the ball, kind of a liability. So in my opinion, I think I'd rather have the Gronkowski, not as great as I thought it was gonna be. In my opinion, that run block should be at least an 87. He's a much better run blocker than that. And in my opinion, his route running should be slightly better because in real life, he was actually a pretty good route runner. At least his medium. His short doesn't have to be great, but his medium, he was a pretty good medium route runner over the middle. But guys, that's all for him. Now to do my, my weekly rankings on these, first place, I'm going to have to go with Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott takes the cake at number one. You just can't you just can't compete with that. He's got the height, the speed, the catching, the athleticism. He's kind of like a little Deion Sanders action at safety. Plus, he's going to be able to kill. He's going to lay the boom, perfect coverage, and he can play up in the man, which I really like when he can play up in the man. Tackle, play rec, nothing wrong with him. Dwight Freeney, not coming in a second. That's going to go to Gronkowski. Gronkowski, again, keep, he's an all-purpose tight end. Catch, route run, block, strong, and should have some great abilities like tank and stuff. Should be super fun to have him. And then, of course, Dwight Freeney going to come in last because I just can't justify a low power move. And again, if you have a low power move but a great finesse move, that's fine. But you shouldn't also have low strength and low block shed. See, you can have low finesse, but I want, an, I want at least 95 block shed, 99 finesse, and a 95 strength. That's just absurd that... Donald blows him away that badly at this stage in the game. Not truthfully a fan of him in my opinion. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification boys. Come join the family. And if you haven't already, don't forget, guys, go check out my new sponsor, Go Buy MMO. They are the cheapest coins on the market. Their link should be down below in the description. Make sure to use code Poodle. Helps me out a lot, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.